Hi, everybody. My name's Eric Bramer. I'm the play-by-play broadcaster for the Fredericksburg Nationals. And at long last, we are almost at opening day of the inaugural season. In a couple weeks, the man writing out the inaugural lineup card will be Mario Lisson, the first manager of the Fredericksburg Nationals, and he joins us here today. Mario, how's it going? Good, man. How are you, Eric? Thanks good, for good. Me. I can imagine, just like you, everyone at spring training on the minor league side is excited to get back to baseball after a long time away. Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, it's been a while, definitely, for sure, and, and we're very excited we are, we are putting the work in right now, trying to get everybody ready uh, to head up north. Well, that's my first question. How do you get an entire team ready after such a long time away from organized baseball? Well, uh, we started a little slow. You know, we had to make sure uh, uh, all the kids are in, in a good shape, you know, being so long and with all of this uh, COVID things that are happening and, and places being shut down and things like that. So it's a little, a little challenging, but uh, the first week, you know, we got them, we got them in, in a good shape. We, we got, we make sure that everybody was in a, on, on a good condition to perform. And, and now we've been uh, ramping it up. Actually, we started our games uh, this past week. Uh, we played some inner squad games and uh, the Marlins and the Astros today, actually. But how fluid is the roster situation down at minor league spring training as you try and figure out who's going to be going to your team and who might be going elsewhere? Well, uh, not not at the moment. You know, we still got a couple more weeks uh, left. There's still a, a lot of decisions to be made. Uh, I mean, we're trying to uh, uh, watch everybody. We're trying to get everybody ready uh, at the end. Um, we just want to make sure whenever those rosters are set, those those guys are ready. You know, we have a a tremendous talent and there's there's a lot of interesting players in in our farm and I think uh whoever comes uh north with me and with the team I think they'll they'll be they'll be just fine I think you know this when you guys arrive in Fredericksburg you will be arriving to a rapturous reception it'll be a celebratory atmosphere here as we have the first season in a brand new ballpark in a brand new market what excites you about being part of that Oh, uh, it's awesome. You know, uh, I heard a lot of good things about the, the facility, the stadium, and, and also the fans that can't wait for the games to start. You know, uh, it's, it's been, again, it's been a long time, and I know everybody wants some baseball. And over here, we can't wait, man. Those, those two longs to go, they can't get here soon enough, and hopefully we're ready and everybody's healthy to go up there and play ball. Since we last had minor league baseball on the field at the end of the 2019 season, a lot has happened. Number one, obviously the global pandemic, but also a restructuring of the minor league baseball system. The Fredericksburg Nationals were originally going to be a high A franchise. Now they are a low A franchise. And as someone who has played minor league baseball and knows the differences between the two levels, what can fans expect from low A baseball? Well, I think, you know, there's, uh, There's a lot of guys learning still, you know, uh, that's for, for most of them, that will be their first full season. Uh, they're probably got some guys coming back from, from 2019, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's the first time for a lot of them, you know, uh, I'm expecting at the beginning, you know, they are a little nervous trying to do too much and especially having fans that, that plays a big role, you know, as for, as you play rookie ball, there's, basically no fans it's just your own players watching the game and some scouts now they have fans um you know the first the first couple of weeks well, I guess will be a little bit uh too exciting for them but hopefully they can settle into it um but we're excited man uh hopefully we can we can all stay healthy that's the main thing obviously and and we're gonna go there and play play hard man play to win we're also going to be experiencing a change in the schedule structure where every Monday will be an off day and every series will be six games running Tuesday through Sunday. I know it'll be a lot easier on the traveling party, but speaking strategically, what will that mean for your starting rotations and other managerial decisions? Well, right now, uh, as the rotation, uh, we haven't really set up anything yet. Uh, uh, likely will be a, a five-man rotation. Like I said, I mean, it's it's still early to to talk to you about a plan or what are we going to do in that aspect. Um, 
but definitely it help it helps you know it helps a little bit you don't have to deal with the traveling in between weeks you know when when you're arriving to a new city at, at three in the morning and have to wake up and go play the next day you know it gives you a little more uh breathing room especially for those guys you know they they stay at one place and we have the opportunity to play six days in a row and then you get to stay off so i think it will help us you know also the traveling uh i kind of look at the schedule and the the traveling looks very friendly which will be awesome and and definitely will help the players man the main thing is it's uh trying to keep everybody fresh and make sure they are at 100 percent so they can perform their best the job of a major league manager is to keep everybody happy and to write out the lineup card and do all the strategic stuff that you traditionally think of in terms of managers. But at the minor league level, the job of a manager is a whole lot bigger than that. And I'm not sure too many people realize that. What are the unseen parts of your job that uh, you think people should know about? Well, the, the main thing, at least for me at, at this level, is we have to develop the players, you know, uh, at the big league level. Uh, the most important thing is win. You know, you have to win every game. I think in our level, even though we, we're trying to win every game, our my main goal and our staff main goal is to make those players the best they can be. You know, and, and sometimes uh, there's lessons off the field. There's lessons that are not uh, physical, baseball physical, uh, if – if you can put it that way, it's more of the mental side of the game. And, and at this level, you know, those, those kids are just uh, taking their first steps. And there's a lot of the mental side of the game that they need to continue to learn and develop. And that's, that's, a, that's a big one for me, you know, and, and that's not seen much. And on TV or on the paper, you don't see that much. And I think uh, that's a huge thing for us as an organization. Finally, Mario, what do the final two weeks of your minor league spring training camp bring for you and the players as you try and ramp up towards opening day? Well, we continue to play games. Uh, we're going to continue to play games. Uh, whenever we don't play other teams, we're going to play each other. Uh, trying to get those kids as many as bats as possible. Trying to get those pitchers arms ready to go. Um, definitely the last week, you know, once uh, we have a better idea of who's going to be making the team or not, then we can start, you know, talking a little more team-like or team-wise. But uh, right now is it's trying to get everybody ready, trying to get at bats, trying to see live pitching and, and get those pitchers to face batters and get everybody involved. You know, again, it's it's been a while. And, and sometimes even though we watch baseball and, and we talk baseball, even being away from baseball, it, it takes a little toll and it's a little hard. But I think we're definitely doing a, a great job here. Uh, as an, oh. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. <laughs> it's the world we're living in. Yeah. No, this is uh, in this room. The, the light goes off. I lost there a little bit if there's no movement. They're flashing the lights. Last call. Yeah. It means it's yeah. my last question. <laughs> All right. What was it again? Well, just, you know, what will the final two weeks of camp bring? And I think okay, you answered well, uh, Again, it, it's. We're, we're playing games, you know, right now we're trying to get everybody ready. Uh, hitters are getting as many as bats as they can. They're trying to get as many live pitching as possible. Uh, the pitchers are getting ready. You know, there's, there's a lot of good arms here. They're throwing the ball very well. Uh, infielders and outfielders are getting their legs ready. And hopefully, you know, everybody stays healthy. And, and by the end of the month, we can go up there and play some good baseball. Well, best of luck, Mario, for the remainder of spring training. I look forward to meeting you in person someday soon, and we look forward to opening day between the Fred Nats and the Lynchburg Hillcats in just a couple weeks' time. Absolutely, Eric. Thank you. Thank you.